Hi guys, let's review this budget yet very powerful gaming laptop, the Asus TUF A15. All right, let's take a look what we have here. Here we have some menus user guide and let's check out these boxes we got a power adapter and then we have a power cable and now let's take a look at this bad boy and that looks nice isn't it the material of the lid is plastic but with the magnetic finishing it looks very tough and really fancy and on each side of the lid, we have some decorations. The top logo has some reflection in it. It's a mirror look, so it's very unique. And I do wish this were the light bar with the RGB, and that would be really cool. On the left side, we have our audio port, the USB Type-C, and two USB, one HDMI, and our Ethernet cable, and the power port. And on the right side, we have one USB and our outtake fan. And on the back of the laptop, we have two outtake fan, one on the right side and one on the left side. There's not really anything fancy in the front. Under the laptop, as you guys can see, we have a lot of intake vents. That's very good for the airflow. And also each corner, we have the non slippery rubber and there's another one in the middle. So the laptop is gonna be super stable. And there are 11 screws that we need to take out if we want to get access to the laptop. And that simple right here reminds me the umbrella core. The length of it is only a little bit over 14 and the deep is 10 inch and the thickness is one inch and the laptop weights four pound and 10 ounce without the power supply and weight the power supply and the cord is five pound and 12 ounces if you want to carry this laptop with you for your daily project or school this considered to be a pretty good weight and now let's take a look what we have inside this laptop and also what we can do to upgrade let's remove all 11 screws and here's one screw on the left corner. When we lose it, it's kind of give us a gap to pop open the case. You see this little gap? Then we can insert our two. And inside this laptop, we have two fans. And the heat pipe is not impressive because if you only have three, and two are shared with the CPU and GPU. And for the CPU, we have the AMD Ryzen 7 4800H. And for the GPU, we got RTX 3050. And for the RAM, we do have a dual channel 16 gigabyte, which is 3200 megahertz. And storage wise, we have a one single SSD, the M.2, and this already have a three more pads on it, which is pretty nice. And the battery is only 48 watt hours and we have two speakers. And for the upgrade, first we can add another M.2 SSD, which is right here. And the RAM is gonna be upgradable, super easy. And also the stock M.2. And I think ASUS with some space right here. If I were ASUS, I will put a longer battery. So we have a much better battery life. Other than that, it looks pretty well organized and super easy to access for our upgrades. And now let me put back the cover and see how it does. All right, let's open the lid. And remove this guy and turn it on. The quality of the lid is pretty well, but we can't actually open it with one hand because the weight I think is so light, but with two handed, it's very solid and very smooth. And let me tap on it. And let me shift my desk. And let me do some typing. So the lid is actually pretty solid. It's not wobbly while you're doing other movement. In the middle of lower screen, we have the ASUS logo. And you also have some reflection in it. And on the upper screen, we have our 720p camera and also our microphone. And the screen itself is 1080p. 15.6 inch with 144 hertz and if you want to know more information about the screen i'll have the link in the description below and the finishing of the panel on the keyboard is really unique it's magnetic finishing and with some link in there and it's very good to prevent us to leave any fingerprint like that and above the keyboard we have another vent for the outtake the keyboard is backlight rgb and also it has a number pad 
On the keyboard, the WASD is in different color. So this is really good for gamers who really love FPS games. And typing on this keyboard feels pretty good actually. And let me give you a clip of how it sounds when we type. The touchpad is really smooth and responsive. When you tap on it, it feels very solid. The software that comes with the laptop is called Armory Crate. And in here, we can monitor all the components status like a CPU, GPU, memory, and fan speed and all that. And also we are able to change all the lighting color on the keyboard. There's color that we can choose from the color wheels, make it blue, make it purple, make it orange, or there's some preset like breathing, strobing, and color cycle. It's more like spectrum or aurora. And there are some other cool features like the game library. You can search all the games that you have on this laptop and then it's easy for you to access. And here's the game visual that you can actually change the visual of the screen by all those defaults. And another cool feature is that you can connect your mobile phone. So it's easy for you to get access to your phone. And this is the noise level for the laptop when it's in idle. And this is how hot the upper panel is gonna be where all the heat pipes are. So it's around 32. And now let's get some score by the time spy. So after the GPU and CPU test, the score that we got is above the average, which is 5,228. And now let's play some games, see how it does in action. So we're in the game of Cyberpunk uh, with everything on high. We are getting around 40 FPS. Let me see if I can bring up the FPS by turn on the DLSS. Ultra performance. Let's try the low settings. Ultra performance. It's about the same, around 60 FPS. Sometimes we can hit 70. It depends on the view of the game. And the noise level is actually pretty good. Let me give you guys a better idea. So it's considered pretty quiet for a laptop. And also I have been playing for a little while now. And then as you guys can see, the temperature for both CPU and GPU are pretty good. They're around 75-ish. Pretty impressive. What did she just say to me? And this is how hot the panel is gonna be on the keyboard. So the left side is a little bit warmer than the right side. And as some part of the game, you can see the FPS can hit above 70. Overall, if you're looking for a budget yet pretty powerful gaming laptop, this one may be a really good choice. And now let's see who is the lucky guy for the video league giveaway. Ding, 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 ding. Congratulations! I'm a good boy! Woo -hoo -hoo.